Esto para mí ha sido como un sostén de mi vida para criar a mi familia. El sentimiento mío cada vez que oh, salgo de gira a pescar, a veces llevo una persona que me acompañe, a veces no llevo a nadie. Pero casi siempre el sentimiento mío es ganarme el pan de Dios de cada día y, y ver si la pesca me da para, para pagar el alisto y que me quede algo para la subsistencia, mantener a mi hijo Ronnie. Siento que Dog to Dish cambiará el futuro de mi familia, de mis hijos. Siento que cambiará mucho. No solo mi familia también, sino otras familias se ven beneficiadas también. The project of Dog to Dish, you know, it sounded so simple in the beginning. There was like, that's it's, it's too simple, right? You know, this is not. And, well, lesson learned, simple things work. So we're really excited about having that connection now directly with the fishermen to the chef, no middle man, no middle person in, in there. We realize that our philosophy and Dr. Dish's philosophy has a 90% overlap. We didn't need Dr. Dish to tell us that we wanted fresh seafood and just from the sea. We needed Dr. Dish to tell us that uh, Santos, our fishermen, is as important to our hotel as our guests are. And we have a responsibility then to Santos to help support his family, because that's all part of the community. The whole idea of Dr. Dish was to, to restructure the economy that wild seafood moves in. We're using a, a new economic model, so a community-supported fishery model, where instead of a traditional marketplace where people come to a market and they demand what they want, that puts pressure on the fishers to target certain species, and, and that's where a lot of the problems stem from. We've restructured that economic mechanism so that it's a supply-driven system and that there's no longer a demand put on the fishermen. So what we're really doing is educating the members on the land side and saying, look, there's no more demanding from the ocean what you want. Now the ocean's gonna supply you steadily with what it has to offer. That's simple. It's a restoration of a catch of the day mentality that was prevalent and dominant on this planet. That behavioral change takes a little finesse, takes a little massaging. Some people it won't work for. So to reinforce it, in the culture, what we did is we've aligned ourselves with the most forward-thinking and well-respected chefs in each of the communities. These chefs have a, an ability to lead the community it's from a culinary sense into ecological sustainability. Para nosotros, lógicamente es muy importante porque estamos siendo pioneros en un en un desarrollo de un nuevo proyecto que normalmente eh, cualquiera puede venir y menospreciar esta sardina normalmente se ocupa solo para pescar pescados lo usan los grandes barcos para pescar atún más imagen otras especies que están en peligro entonces nosotros estamos evolucionando esa forma de pensar para los cocineros para el pescador en sí de una forma local eh, no se usan esas grandes líneas indiscutiblemente esto le estamos dando un énfasis a las especies que son menos utilizadas por algunos chefs y nosotros estamos haciendo recetas muy interesantes con esos productos me siento feliz que por lo menos me oye mi opinión me oye mi, mi manera de, de, de expresar sobre lo que es la pesca en este cantón y le doy, y le doy la sentir lo, lo más sincero agradecimiento de que me, me tomaron en cuenta. Aquí cuesta que una persona le tome en cuenta. Yo creo que el, el poder permitirle al pescador que venga al hotel, que venga y conozca las cocinas, que sea parte de, nuestra, eh, de nuestros restaurantes es muy importante. También poder ir, tuvimos la oportunidad de ir a pescar con ellos. Entonces también eso es, podemos ver todas las técnicas, todo lo que ellos hacen, los, los utensilios que utilizan, valga la redundancia, para, para tener ese tipo de pesca. Eso es muy importante. We're having seafood shipped in a commodities marketplace around the world. We're depleting certain species. There's just been a, a constant reinforcement um, for a lot of people that it's not right. Something's got changed. We need to change this and fix it. And so, Dr. Dish and community and restaurant supported fishery structures that 
membership-based, supply-driven um, alternative has proven itself repeatedly in multiple markets to solve the problems that have plagued the oceans, but also the conscience of a lot of people who like seafood. People want to have good seafood and they want to feel okay about it. They want to know that their kids and grandkids are going to be able to have that same experience. Los esperamos en Arenas del Mar para obtener una experiencia diferente a nivel gastronómico en todo Costa Rica. Bueno, me siento feliz. Es un, del, un, un desenlace pura vida. Gracias a Dios conocí a estas personas y me siento feliz. Y lo vuelvo y lo repito, pura vida. ¡Pura vida!